हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एस सी सिलेक्टर टूडेज वीडियो विल गिव यू एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड ऑफ यूज ऑफ फॉर्मूला विच प्रॉबली यू मेन बी नोइंग बट इफ यू नॉट नोइंग आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दैट फॉर्मूला टूडे द क्वेश्चन इज देर आर फोर डाइज विच आर थ्रोन साइमल्टेनियसली एंड you have to get a total of 19 for example here it is given that 4 4 5 and 6 so in how many ways we can get 19 this is one of the way 6 4 10 5 and 4 9 19 and here only there can be factorial 4 upon 2 factorial that is 12 cases possible this 4 4 can be anywhere because these are different dice d1 d2 d3 and d4 so there are 12 such cases when we have 4 4 5 6 and the question is how many such cases are possible do we have to count it uh, manually or is there any formula so definitely i am going to give you a shortcut formula for this so try to figure out the question if you can solve it manually otherwise definitely i'm going to give you a formula so let's see how we can solve the question as the question says that these are the four dice d1 d2 d3 d4 and one of the way of getting 19 is the total is shown in the picture 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 that is 19 and as i told you in permutation these are actually 12 cases when any of the dice gets 6 any of the dice gets 5 and other two gets 4 each now let me give you a shortcut as well as the formula to find out this value friends if we calculate the maximum of the four values will have 6 6 6 and 6 6 six plus 6 six plus 6 six plus 6 six, that is the maximum value possible 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 24 now we are we want to get 19 as the total has to be 19 we have to subtract 5 from this 19 so this 5 is subtracted from one of the dice alone or maybe the sum of the four subtractions so let me subtract a from this let me subtract b from this 6 minus c and 6 minus b and the total of this will be equals to 90 so this gives me 60 24 minus a plus b plus c plus b is equals to 90 so the value of a plus b plus c plus b is equals to 24 minus 19 that is equals to 5 so we have four different variables and the sum of it should be 5 and it can be like this that a alone can be 5 and the other three values are zero b alone can be 5 so these are the four cases or it may be 4 1 0 so basically we have four different variables and the sum of those four variable must be 5 now here comes a formula for which i had started this question if we have four variables and the sum of the four variables is given a constant which is which in this case is 5 and any of the variable can be zero the formula which we should apply is n plus r minus 1 upon c r minus the formula is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 here n is the 5 the total which we want to get that is n and r is the number of groups in which we have to distribute this 5 so r is 4 there are four variables and the total has to be 5 and 0 is allowed suppose 0 is not allowed then the formula is different and the formula is n minus 1 cr minus 
But in case if zero is allowed in any of the variable, we can take zero. Then the formula is n plus r minus one c r minus one. N is five. R is four minus one c four minus one, and the value comes out to be five plus four nine minus one eight c three, and eight c three is eight seven six one two three. So when you cancel out these two, you get fifty six. So friends, there are fifty six ways in which we can get a total of nineteen if we throw four dice simultaneously. And uh, twelve of the cases I had explained earlier: four, four, five, six, four, four, five, six. There are twelve cases. If we take one, six, 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 triple six, and one nineteen, and there are four such cases, and if you count manually. You will get fifty-six only, but this was the formula for which I made this video. I hope, friends, you like this video. Please like to our videos and subscribe to our channel. I will give you more such shortcuts of different concepts of mathematics. Bye. See you next time.